Today we are continuing to polish more in the hit speed. So in the previous tutorial, we already put a hit speed in the level complete menu. Let's take a look in the game. So if we keep if we keep hitting, it shows up the hit speed. Let's try again. Hit replay. We keep hitting. Okay, then there is something wrong here. It shouldn't be infinite. It shouldn't be infinity in in here. So there must be something wrong. It's either this one, the value in here is extremely big or the value in here is equal to zero. I think it will be the second situation. So let's double check. So when the game we hit the replay, game will load it and the timer will be initial timer will be 10 so it will be 10 minus 10 and then here okay I think uh, we know what's going on we need to also reset the enable counting to true Otherwise, uh, because um, when we hit the replay button and uh, when we finish this game, the level complete, the level completed menu, and the enable counting will turn into false. So we need to reset enable counting to back to true when the game is reloaded. So let's try again. Maximize, maximize on play the play button keep hitting on the object okay first time is okay then we replay okay that's all right try again okay pretty good so let's do some more polish to be safe, I think we can put this one move under here. I think we don't need this one. So when user hit when user destroy the object, then we'll start counting. So we don't need to count the speed every time or every frame. And let's also put uh, some more condition in here. So let's make if the data center timer update is bigger than timer, then we can allow Unity to do the calculation for the hit speed. Then in this case, we can prevent hit speed go to goes to infinity value. Let's test again. Okay, it was all right. Try again. Everything is cool. Okay, the only thing is, uh, we want to right now the hit speed has too many decimals, like this, and uh, it doesn't looks good. It doesn't look good in here. So we want to remove some decimals and only keep for two. For doing that, we can do a very simple trick in here by using the same way as the timer we did before. So let's simply put his speed 
equal to math f round and put something in here is the hit speed multiply 100 float and the divider 100 0, point 0 0.0 float and this is for round up round up to two decimals let's take a look Okay, much better. Try again. Okay. So this is the hit speed. And right now we are going to add more ranking message for three kind different kind of a rank. And the ranking message will based on how fast you tap. So since we already have the hit speed, then we will add the ranking message in here. We will create a, the first one. My we can call it. Uh, how do you call? Um, First one, second one we will call it a good job. And the highest level we call it a excellent. And maybe just call it a awesome. And the first one is it. You made it. So let's set a condition in here. If let's copy this one first. Because these three will be in the same position, we we'll simply just say, just copy and paste each one and change the content in here. You made it. Good job. Awesome. So for the first one, if hit speed bigger than zero and uh, and uh, Hit speed is less than let's say maybe three point F then we will display you made it message. So in the second ranking if his speed is bigger than 3.0 3.0 f 
and uh, smaller and equal in maybe say 5.0 f then we will say good job and in this case put a 5 in here and there is no maximum value okay let's take a look so which means if user tap on the object really slow like this at the time still running okay then you made it so we hit faster like this good job we can do even faster awesome so you can tweak the different kind of ranking you want or or replace a star image in here.